Have you ever been betrayed by someone you loved? How well do you really know the person sleeping next to you? Should you forgive this painful act of infidelity? What is the true cost of cheating? Welcome to Bobsy Rants. Hey everybody! In today's podcast, we are going to be talking about cheating and kind of gauge whether or not second chances is something that's good for couples out there. So let's start off, why people cheat in general? What are your thoughts about that one? In my opinion, one of the reasons why uh, people uh, cheat, they are immature uh, overall. Yeah. Especially if you're uh, young, Mm -hmm. uh, you're into that phase where you just basically explore your sexuality. (laughs) (laughs) You can say that. (laughs) Maybe you don't really cherish enough what you currently have. I feel like it's the same thing with women, but I think majority of the women cheat because of resentment. They chose the wrong person. And Mm. over time, they kind of adjusted their whole life to be with this person and to match this person's wants and needs without fulfilling theirs. Again, there's so many reasons behind it. I'm not saying like this is the only reason why. It stems from everything else. Like, but the root, the root problem is immaturity and resentment. It's Mm. the fact that you were not mature enough to choose the right person. You didn't know yourself as much to understand what you want and need in life and you basically settled as women. And for men, immaturity. You're trying to commit to a woman knowing full well that you're still not there in serious relationships. You still want to explore, you know, you still haven't tapped into you personally and what you wanted. <laughs> Tap some asses. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could see where your head's at. <laughs> Adding up to this, uh, uh, not only young men uh, are cheating, but uh, also the older ones. Yeah. Uh, reason being uh, probably they, again, they chose the wrong person or the woman they're with. Yeah. Uh, maybe they just uh, don't really like her that much anymore. Uh, yeah, for some reason over time, maybe their dynamic change completely if there is not much attraction if the the guy is always looking to be out instead of at home yeah uh, that's true. then again the gates of uh, hell infidelity <laughs> <laughs> are being open okay. and they have more temptation basically to cheat that's really true because when they say you know women should be a man's peace you know this cliche this really is an important thing in terms of relationship because i feel like this is ultimately reasons why people go out people try to venture out in the abyss you know you're trying to look for peace and happiness is because they couldn't find a, a middle ground at home what is actually being considered as cheating This is such an interesting topic. Let's dive deep. Of course, there are some uh, obvious uh, factors here. Yeah. As an example, uh, you know, people actually going and having an affair. One of the partners is going basically on a date with a different uh, person. Yeah, of course, it's considered cheating With intention, basically, of uh, some romantic outcome. (laughs) Some (laughs) entanglement? (laughs) Yeah. What about uh, a more subtle... uh, approach. (laughs) Uh, In your opinion, uh, talking to someone online on on social media uh, or even, uh, you know, when you're out and and, you're flirting and you're flirting. Yeah. Uh, Mm. Is this being considered as uh, cheating? Flirting is completely different than just being friendly. Uh-huh. Right? Because we got to also establish these two things. Because sometimes people are like, oh, she's too friendly. What does that even mean? For me, I feel like if, you're, if your intention really is when you're talking to somebody and you really find that person attractive and you're flipping your hair and, you know, as a woman, you're, you're trying to do physical touch and stuff like that. Or you're trying to woo this person knowing full well that you're in a relationship or you're married. And that's considered as cheating to me. And that's absolutely so disrespectful. But if you're just a woman, right, and you've encountered somebody and you literally just trying to be decent, trying to be respectful, you know okay. trying to be uh, agreeable just as, as much as possible then there's a fine line between is that considered cheating I don't think so it's just a woman trying to be 
presenting herself in a positive way. It's never black and white. There's always a fine line, right, between friendliness and flirtatious. I do agree on this part. You know, you can tell pretty much right away if somebody is just being uh, nice, polite, or friendly, or the person is flirting. Right, exactly. Uh, yeah, right, That's so true. Uh, people are not that stupid not mm. to not to understand this yes. uh, dynamic. What about uh, social media? What if one of the partners Ooh. is uh, following uh, uh, half naked women's uh, pictures? Yeah, if a man is is basically uh, following uh, uh, beautiful women uh, online on social media and he's liking the photos, he's commenting, uh, and the other way around. What if a woman is uh, also following uh, man influencers uh, <laughs> and uh, also being uh, proactive? <laughs> in Ooh, social media <laughs> yeah this is such a controversial debate we are already in the 21st century digital era right mm -hmm. before this was not an issue because social media wasn't a thing back then there's a leeway now because everybody's saying that oh it's the digital era i would say that all of these actions i wouldn't call it cheating it's just pure disrespect it's just part of our times right now that we are in the digital era, but that doesn't mean that principles and values completely eradicated just because they are digital. Would you be okay with me basically following uh, uh, these fitness Baby, models and commenting on their, <laughs> <laughs> on their booties? <laughs> Thick. <laughs> no, I, I would actually be super furious about that, to be quite <laughs> frank with you. It's so disrespectful. Again, I wouldn't consider that as a cheating. It's not cheating because there's no, you're not putting action into it in terms of really meeting with the person. Okay. I just do appreciate the squats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think women also appreciate the buns. <laughs> you are what you consume, I feel, at the end of the day, you know? When people say, oh, you're consuming comedic skits that's who you are you're a person that likes to laugh if mm -hmm. you're a person that likes to consume more often than not naked pictures then you are a nymphomaniac <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> no you are a person that really is horny all the time <laughs> you know what I mean uh, apologies I just have too much <laughs> testosterone <laughs> and I always look at it this way you know I feel like if you are liking beautiful pictures of women maybe do the same thing for your women you know i think this would be so so much appreciated if you're you're putting that woman as number one as a, a girl that you really enjoy looking at you know like i would you... just prefer my woman to be less active on social media <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> let's start so that, with that, that that's one. true that's true <laughs> yes what's my opinion on you following uh Men. Men on naked social men? media. No, not necessarily. <laughs> Other than naked men on social media? I don't know. Shirtless men. Let's say shirtless men. Yeah. Like okay. fitness models Fitness also. models or something yeah. like that. Probably it's not okay. <laughs> right? Like, like right, what, I mean, what business do you have basically following uh, multiple accounts yeah. like that? Like, yeah, that's true. I thought we, are, we have uh, so much on our plate. If you're really busy with, uh, with the good stuff, Yes, like, you don't uh, even... Like there is family, there is work, there is uh, business, there, there are hobbies. So if your head is in the right uh, space, you don't even have time to really follow that much uh, unnecessary people. Right. So that's uh, how I observe that as well. You know, you right? have no time to have all of these nonsense in your mm. head. If you have a strong relationship, who's mm. focused on your goals, focus on what you want in life, and together you're happy, you know, you have something to talk about, you're laughing constantly, you don't even think about following any type of men or women on social media, really, because I feel like these are just pastimes that a lot of people have a lot on their plate. In my opinion, uh, a woman if she's not using social media for a business of some sort, her account has to be as private as possible. I agree. Uh, yeah. She doesn't have to be so proactive in showcasing herself, especially yeah. uh, her body in a sexual way. Yes. If she's in a relationship, then uh, definitely she doesn't have to post uh, her booties. Her content doesn't have to be revolving, around, revolving that around basically sex. sexuality. Yeah. Uh, right? Because she is in a relationship. She already has a man. Yeah. So for whom is all of that? Not for her, not for the ladies. It's all for the yeah. guys. Yeah, so yeah. if she's uh, seeking validation and attention from, uh, you know, 
thousands of uh, other men are online, then uh, she's not the wife material. Right, that's true. And I, I feel hmm. like this is such a debate as well. When you say you're being, you're just so conservative. Well, that's not a bad thing, is it? <laughs> Conservativeness is security. It's protection. That's why a lot of people are conserv conservative, is to protect their peace, protect their wife their children there's nothing wrong about being conservative and I, and I feel like if, if you're so liberated at times you just put yourself in a pickle and a situation where you're vulnerable with external stuff and i feel like it, this can be easily avoided when you just you know think about it in a way where like okay how can i protect my relationship at all costs and it's just pure decency, I feel like, at the end of the day. In terms of women posting booty pics and sexualizing social media. Again, unless you make it into a business. I would not really be okay, uh, my woman, yeah, yeah, to yeah. have uh, to be an influencer where she still has to basically expose her body in a sexual uh, uh, way. It can be anything online. Right, right, right. right. So if a, a woman's way is uh, only basically showcasing her body, right. then yeah, I would not prefer basically such a relationship. Yeah, right? and okay. although a lot of men prefer that, they're good for you, right? But at the mm -hmm. end of the day, I feel like, yeah, I mean, that's something that not a lot of people really enjoys. <laughs> it's, it's disrespectful. I think in general, men wouldn't prefer that. Now okay. I'm going to ask you what your thoughts on women cheating, women in a relationship or women who are married. Women cheating in a relationship uh, to me that's literally the very worst thing which can happen to a man once a woman is uh, going that route she really has to understand that for majority of the men this will be the dead end it's the end of the road yes there is no coming back from uh, that one I'm talking about the men who are uh, uh, successful in life, who are mature enough, who understand uh, basically uh, what is a good relationship and what is a good uh, woman. So for majority of these men, uh, there is no coming back from uh, from uh, cheating. Yeah. Why is that? Is uh, again because uh, a loyalty from a woman that's the very core of uh, relationship. Yeah. From, a, from a man's perspective that you hold on to yeah we need to know that that woman belongs only to us mm -hmm. uh, regardless of uh, situation right okay so once uh, once this part is uh, gone then literally for men nothing else uh, matters her cooking her cleaning her uh, history uh, her successes, her intelligence, yeah. uh, nothing really matters uh, anymore. It goes down okay. the drain. Yes, mm -hmm. that's uh, her loyalty is the number one thing which is uh, so uh, which is so important for, for a man. So this is why uh, women have to be uh, very careful. Uh, when they go that route, they need to understand that they cannot just say sorry afterwards. They yeah. cannot just basically patch things uh, up uh, later on. Right. For the men, uh, this is really like uh, the end yeah. in most cases the women if you have uh, pretty much uh, some problems in a relationship uh, you decide to, to, to get drunk and to basically have this uh, 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 clubbing with <laughs> the girls <laughs> yeah clubbing with the girls situation and this uh, thing happens and uh, uh, you just need to know that the relationship will not be fixed later on mm -hmm. uh, this is the dead uh, end some women will be like well he's cheating as well so I'm cheating well, that's not how you fix it. <laughs> yeah. We got to stay true to our principles in court. Just because a man is cheating, that doesn't mean that you can strip yourself off of the values that you have as a woman and try to do this vendetta or this, okay. oh, I'm going to get back at you mentality. It, it's either you compromise with this man or you leave this man. Continuing this uh, part, uh, women cheating in a relationship for men out there. If that happened to you, if your woman really cheated uh, on you with uh, another man, uh, I really don't recommend basically uh, staying in that relationship. It's just completely unnatural. Yeah. Men and women are different mm -hmm. and uh, if a woman is doing that, she's not really into you, she's not it's really... true. Uh, yeah. she's, it takes a lot for a woman. She, she doesn't yeah. really love you and yeah, women. if women cheat, 
uh, most likely they cheat because there is already some sort of other connection uh, on a the side. Yeah. They don't just do, do it like uh, like men. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not only about basically the physical part. Uh, it's already the mental emotional. game in there, emotional game uh, is there. Absolutely. Uh, there is a lot of planning, yeah. uh, perhaps. If you stay, they just basically uh, understand mm -hmm. that you're a weak man yeah. and moving uh, forward, uh, naturally, they will even uh, uh, hate you for that. <laughs> yeah, for, 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 for that fact. Them. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's true. Right? They will uh, lose all the respect towards you. They will not consider you as a strong man. And uh, moving forward, it's going to get only worse. Yeah, and then children are involved yeah. and you wonder why. It's just know? not uh, worth it. So if a woman is uh, cheating, she lost her number one value. And uh, you should just probably... Uh, come to the acceptance that this is it, this is the end, you have to basically part ways and move forward. Yeah. What about uh, men cheating? Oh, okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> about that one. This is not a surprise, I mean, <laughs> I mean, all throughout history, we just know that men cheat. For women, I feel like they just anticipate it, like when it's gonna happen. Like, I feel like because it's so adamant now in this, generation in this world men cheats when women are in a relationship now they're just counting the days when that can happen <laughs> yeah and they're how many days do i have <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> well especially when you started off very rocky and you continued you settled like as a woman you settled for the man mm -hmm. then eventually that's gonna be the thought right oh this guy's gonna cheat and uh, how am i gonna deal with it you know it's gonna be that kind of like narrative in our heads but for me if a man cheats i just feel like you are immature and uh, you know i i picked the wrong guy unless you're a, a woman that's neglectful then sure maybe that's a factor but if you're a woman that has done everything she could you know to make the relationship she put in the efforts every single day she fed you she made you happy and stuff and still you are cheating then Unfortunately, you just have to cut your losses at the end of the day, you know? Because uh, there's a lot of women out there who's constantly looking in, like, what did I do? What what have I done, you know? If you did everything, again, it's not about you. It's just really your choices. And maybe moving forward, you know already what not to choose <laughs> at the end of the day, right? Because I, I feel like women right now, we just had a thick, we have a thick skin right now in terms of cheating men. We just know it's going to happen, you know? So... So what about second chances? Uh, mm. What if overall the relationship is uh, good and the, the guy is also overall uh, good and then yeah something happened. He, he, he went out, he got drunk and then this thing happened and it's first time when it happened. Uh, yeah, would you okay. would you give him a chance? Well, in terms of second chances, right? Second chances exist. I'm not saying people can't do third chances, fourth chance, fifth chance. You can give a person a chance, but it's up to that person now if that chance is worth it. And again, I feel like uh, people don't understand that if you give second chances, your, your whole dynamic shifts. Everything is hyper-focused on the mistake, oh. right? Now, if you're asking for a second chance, it means you're stripping yourself off of freedom. Because yeah. that's the only th way I think that it would work. Right? That's why I don't believe in second chances because you're literally asking a person to be a slave. Where's your location? What's this? What, you're, you're stripping a person off freedom. And I don't believe in that because I feel like as humans, we are entitled to it. That's why we, we call it a free will. Right? So I feel like a second chance for me personally wouldn't work. And it would only work if somebody becomes stripped off of their freedom. You know, for a time being. And I don't think anyone would do that. Right? That's why when you see people with second chances, they always revert back to, again, another cheating instant. The guy has complete access to everything, you know, like, not changing his ways. And as a woman, it makes you resentful because you're like, why, why, are, you, why are you mad that I'm asking your location? You're asking me for a second chance. Here's your second chance. <laughs> right? A second chance I for you. I have to be a personal... Uh... Puppy. That's it. And that's what people don't understand, realize that that's why I don't, I don't agree with it because nobody can sustain that. Nobody can sustain um, a person tiptoeing, walking on eggshells around you constantly. And I'm sorry, as humans, if you lost the trust, it's going to happen. 
you know even though in a good day you're laughing right something sets the girl off and now it's gonna be a back and forth right and it's a mm -hmm. constant thing no matter good or bad it's gonna be hovering over your head and that's why i don't think that this is the best way to go in my opinion uh talking about uh, men cheating i think that men and women are uh, different mm -hmm. overall throughout the history we see that uh, theme of uh, men being with uh, multiple uh, women as uh, something which uh, happened it's like more acceptable for uh, men having multiple uh, women um, even uh, yeah. right now there are basically countries and societies uh, uh, we talk about uh, Middle East, uh, Muslim yeah. uh, worlds. Even where, Africa. Yeah, even Africa, where basically it is okay, even even now, for a man to have uh, multiple uh, wives. That's part of their law. Yeah, you know. That's how we understand that uh, men and women, uh, women are different, and mm -hmm. uh, some things are more acceptable than the other, right? Uh, right? Uh, and we already covered why for a woman, uh, even throughout the history, this doesn't really happen. Does it mean that uh, it's okay for men to, to cheat uh, openly? Uh, yeah, right? that's the question. So in, my, uh, in my opinion, uh, even though it's more acceptable, uh, the tricky part is if the man uh, cheats and his woman is forgiving him, will the woman be the same woman? as before yeah to me this question. is to me this is the biggest uh, problem you have a nice relationship right uh you have a good loving relationship uh you're together probably for many years uh, whether you have children or or not you built something uh, you built something together yeah. and then this uh, cheating incident uh, occurs and you go through it your woman is forgiving you at the at the end of the day is it the same woman Will she make exactly the same sandwiches? <laughs> uh, will Maybe she poison. will she do exactly the same massage for you? Yeah. Uh, this is a big question. So uh, I believe that uh, the relationship will be affected big time, and uh, even though it, yeah. even though you're gonna stay together, uh, you're just gonna have a different woman. The resentment will be for a lifetime, and uh, you just jeopardize uh, a very good relationship to a secondhand uh, relationship yeah, because yeah. of that. Yeah. So to me, this is the big, the biggest uh, fear. Yeah. Uh, like I wouldn't want to lose a healthy a good relationship because mm -hmm. of that yeah Bubba. right <laughs> <laughs> you like them sandwiches Bubba? yeah i like your sandwiches <laughs> i like your massage <laughs> you like everything Bubba? i like your stories bedtime <laughs> stories <laughs> yeah I so mean, yeah that's just you know you lose and you gain you gain and you lose i mean yeah. the circle of life right so again depends on we you really think that it's worth it or not then it's up to you you decide right <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm just we're just saying basically the obvious mm. and well, common sense right? yeah, yeah but summarizing everything of course uh, probably the best scenario is uh, when this doesn't happen yeah right uh, this is ideal so if you can manage to go through these temptations and to not have these mistakes uh, it's gonna be great for your uh, awesome. relationship yeah uh, yeah if this uh, happened again in uh, my opinion uh, if a woman cheats, uh, this is the end. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the man should never forgive and stay in a relationship. Uh, yeah. This relationship should uh, come to an uh, end. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If a man is cheating, it is more accepted in the society, it looks like. But, but the current relationship will be affected big times. And uh, do you want to go through this uh, route? Why so not? you guys have to, to decide yes. on, on that one. <laughs> cheers to that one. We don't have anything yeah, we don't right have now. Anything to drink, but if we would, we would definitely cheer to yeah. that. Cheer to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. what about you guys? Uh, do you have any stories to share? Yes. We would be uh, curious to find uh, what uh, uh, incidents happened to you. Uh, uh, did your partner cheat on you? Or did you uh, cheat? Or did you cheat? Uh, if you are open to share these stories, comment down uh, below. Can I give our thoughts on it? You know, and yeah. feature your story on our segment. This has been it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos, or maybe, maybe not. not. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to get notified on the valuable educational content that we do, or maybe not. It's up to you. It's your choice. You decide. Peace. Peace.